Ready to fight? Ready. Good. So, of course, we'll get another look at Sean O'Malley here tonight. And one thing that has defined his UFC run thus far, he has dictated the pace. He has led the dance against his prior UFC victims. Let's see if O'Malley can stay with that and stick to that here tonight. Well, he is fighting like he's double parked outside early on. Beautiful combination by the boxer. Oh, Side control now. Now inside the close. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. He, wow, that is great submission defense. He's back with the guillotine now. Oh, submission defense holds up again. It's on point. He's constantly under attack, and he's constantly bats away these submission attempts back to back. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. O'Malley's so cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, he continues to do a nice... Oh, flying knee to the dome piece. Massive head kick. Big land with the right for O'Malley. Oh, such a good way there. This is his rock. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability. Oh, massive knee up top. Garbrandt's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Gotta figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. He's very close to the finish here. Back to the feet. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. O'Malley's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. All right, pausing the action here. The referee never wants to be the story, but given the swelling around that eye, doctor had to be called for here, champ. Well, he's having a very difficult time picking up the opponent, seeing where his opponent is, and he's getting tagged. He's getting pieced up. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, DC's been all over this great nation. Ford the laser right on the equator. Tonight, though, we are in Rio de Janeiro. How was the flight, my man? You're holding up pretty well. It's rough flying to Rio de Janeiro. It's far from me. Just to California. But the moment I step foot in here, I know that I'm in for a great fight, and I'm also in for a great crowd. People that are very knowledgeable about the sport of mixed martial arts and very passionate. O'Malley's eye is officially swollen shut. The referee keeping a close eye on things. Maybe he'll call for the ringside position, but that condition is only gonna get worse. All right, let us now get you some. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Lands a hook there. Well, you know Cody Garbrandt. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponents on wobbly legs.
All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen.